I feel like I am taking it way freaking back to the days when I just had this YouTube channel because y'all already saw the title. We are going to be getting into a what's in my carry-on tote because I just love watching these videos only because I'm just super nosy and it gives me ideas on things that I can pack with me when I'm going somewhere and things that I may or may not use. So if you guys are interested in this video today, be sure to stick around to find out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a ton of beauty, fashion, lifestyle, self-care related videos here and I have tons on the way. So let's get into my carry-on tote. This is the same carry-on tote you guys I've had for I feel like years and I low-key want to take it into Louis Vuitton to get the Vaquetta replaced. It is super soft now and I feel like if I put too much weight into this tote bag it's gonna break. <laughs> It's gonna break but I will tell you if you are looking for a toe of quality this bag is the bag for you it is massive so this one that I have is the GM size which is the biggest size and it's a very old model um, I bought this for myself maybe like my early college years I want to say I could have been yeah I was not in high school definitely early college years and it's changed a lot in the inside of the bag but it's just one huge tote aka a big pit where you can throw everything into it and you can see the patina that is on my leather pieces which i think looks beautiful i'm just more concerned that it might break on me Let, let's hope it doesn't break at the airport that would be terrible it looks more full than what it actually is and you guys will see here in a second that i don't really have a ton of stuff but one thing that i will have with me is the ipad i don't travel with my laptop because i for the most part i'm not worrying about editing content and i could do pretty much anything that i need on my ipad and it's just a larger screen than just having like my iphone so if i'm just chilling in my hotel room and i'm bored i don't want to just watch videos or play games from my phone with such a small screen so having my ipad is great and if i need to hop on to my email check it really quick then boom i can do that and if i want to watch youtube videos or stream content then I can also do that. But for me, I know that I'm on a flight for usually about five hours and I need to be doing something. I need to be doing something that distracts me from the fact that I am on this Airbus high in the sky around all these people. Baby, I need distractions. I've been obsessed with Bingo Wild. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I tell you this game will have you entertained for hours upon hours. We all have downtime in our hotel room. We're bored as heck on the flights or if we're trying to just get in the Uber and go to our destination. So having a fun game that really keeps you excited and entertained for such a long period of time will make your travel go by so much quicker. So shout out to Bingo Wild for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Get ready for an electrifying bingo experience with our fun and free online games. As soon as you log in, you'll be rewarded with 10,000 coins. With over 100 thrilling bingo themes to choose from, each offering both classic and unique bingo styles, customize your experience by selecting your preferred doubler and the number of cards you play with, up to a maximum of four for non-stop bingo action. Plus, you'll earn coin bonuses every 10 minutes. Just imagine the endless possibilities. Take a spin on the wheel and participate in exciting collection events. You can even raise dragons. And enjoy the wealth of exciting activities that will give you all the free bingo fun you could ever want. So join a club and connect with bingo enthusiasts from all over the world in Bingo Wild. Experience higher bingo chances, more rewards, and the ultimate bingo adventure. Download Bingo Wild for free right now. 
So y'all need to go ahead and download this game. Click the link in the description box below so you guys can check out this app. It's amazing. So I just like having my iPad. It's very slim and lightweight and it's not doing too much, but like it's more exciting than just having my phone for entertainment. The next thing that I have to have with me is some form of headphones. I used to be the girl that would just travel with my AirPods, but the thing about the AirPods is one ear would always disconnect, one ear pod um, or AirPod would always die before the other one, and they don't last a whole five hour flight. And also the time that I'm like in the airport trying to listen to music and stuff like that. So I'd always have to take it out and then wait for it to charge and then put it back in my ear. And it's just not the vibes when you're around so many people on a flight and there's babies crying and people coughing. It's just no. So I have decided to just start traveling with my AirPods Max Pros. Or whatever the heck these things are called <laughs> these just last so much longer these are my gym headphones and the thing about these is they do leak audio a little bit so i just have to be a little bit more cautious about how loud i listen to this so i don't disturb homeboy sitting next to me on the flight uh, but they are more convenient because you can just if you're walking around the airport you could easily just have one ear exposed so you hear life around you but they also have the transparency mode as well which is really trippy but it's very helpful at hearing noise around you you know what i'm saying so i am excited to travel with these for the first time because i recently just got them just for the gym and i haven't you know traveled anywhere since i had them so can't wait for that they're also very comfortable to wear for such a long period of time so the next thing that i have in my tote which honestly i usually will wear something like this it's very rare that i travel wearing a thin short sleeve top because i get cold so easily even if it's the summertime and it's 100 degrees i'm still going to be freezing on the flight and i don't like that air that recycled air blowing on my face so i always close that vent i don't know about you guys but mm -mm. so i usually always wear leggings or a sweat set a hoodie of some sort where i can put it on my head because i don't like i am so like particular you guys about traveling on a flight i don't like my hair to touch the seat of the airplane so i like to have a hoodie that i can just throw my hood up you know i got my music on boom going to sleep or i'm waking up because i can't sleep the turbulence i'm playing my bingo wild you know what i'm saying like i like to have my own zone where i don't feel like somebody is directly sitting right here like i just focus on my little section so i just have like a basic black hoodie and this is nice because i can just wear it at my destination as well I can wear a t-shirt or long sleeve underneath and i don't have to worry about like getting it too too dirty but i always 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 personally prefer to have a hood so that like i said my hair is protected from the germs <laughs> and all of that kind of stuff but i wouldn't really have this in my tote i just wanted to mention why i like to have something like that and again you can just pair it with matching sweatpants leggings and you're good to go snacks we love snacks not just for traveling but also when i get to you know my hotel or i'm waiting for check-in and all that kind of stuff i like having a variety of snacks i don't typically um throw them all in my tote bag but i will pack some in my checked bag because i am dairy free so i like to have options and not have to feel like i have limited variety to choose from at those little stands and stuff so i'll pick up some water i'll pick up maybe like a chip or like a pretzel something like that that's salty that might help with nausea um because sometimes i might get a little bit anxious and nauseous <laughs> so it's nice to have something salty to snack on and then i also just kind of have this catch-all in my tote bag it's nice to have something that keeps everything in one place those smaller items and you'll know exactly where those things are i just would take this from bag to bag i don't really like pack it specifically for this but there are things in here that i might want to have with me while i'm away from my house like herbal tea and if I'm ever feeling like my digestion is off or I'm feeling a little nauseous or something, I like having just mint tea because Starbucks is everywhere, but they don't have just mint tea on its own. So you could always go in and just ask for hot water, even if you're just at the airport. I have some Byredo Mojave Ghost hand cream here. This stuff is really good. 
chapstick of course you need that on a plane it's so dry and then I have one of these little pill capsules which just has a mix of different things that I might need with me I have allergies and stuff so I do keep um you can see like some Benadryl in there there's some Tylenol and then acid reducer because <laughs> girl you never know like when I'm traveling my stomach is on one especially if I have to get up at like five in the morning girl we need the acid reducer um and i like i said i have allergies so you're away from your house you just want to be prepared and have those things i have aqua for in case i need it you never know and i keep a couple of different hair ties in here as well as just a dior lip oil i think this is like the zero 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 super good it doubles as a lip balm as well another hair tie eye drops because my eyes get itchy and just really dry fun fact i scratched my cornea years ago and i feel like my eye has never been the same like i don't know so i always need to have something for like the dryness i keep this remote just for like travel whenever i get to my destination you never know if you want to like take some cute pictures but you're you know the only one there so it's nice to have that and you can get some cute pics while you're traveling I have some crystals for good vibes and more hair ties in there. I have these little Louis Vuitton sample fragrances. They've always been in here and I never really use them. I have a hygiene wipe because again, you just never know. Stay fresh. Panty liner and some girly things because again, you just never know and I'd rather have those than to be like, all alone with nothing okay and then i have one of these antibacterial wipes for my phone just to kind of wipe it all down from like all the germs of traveling and another louis vuitton sample fragrance so all those little itty bitty things are in this little pouch i just find it keeps everything more organized when you know exactly where everything is so yeah those are just some things that i have in here my phone Okay, we have our ticket on here. We have our music that we want to switch through. We have our apps and our games, all that fun stuff to keep us entertained while we're waiting around at the airport and while we're sitting on the flight, all that kind of stuff. So that's just a must. You need it. Booty wipes. Booty wipes. Stay fresh. I don't know about you guys, but I just like to feel good. <laughs> I want to feel my best <laughs> booty wipes and also they come in clutch when you're in your hotel room just to feel fresh if you're just traveling for a long time you're sitting for five ten hours you just need them and I also have a charger for my iPhone and my iPad I tend to have a USB this one is not USB it's in my car so if you're on the flight you can just kind of plug that in but I think most flights have this uh, plug as well but I tend to always have a USB this is just a newer cord that I have on me right now and then a hairbrush on my trip I'm gonna have straight hair so it's just nice to be able to have this if I need to brush my hair back and um, or detangle my hair so that's what I keep in that pocket the last thing that you guys can see that I keep in my carry-on tote is my actual purse that i will use when i'm at like my destination because i'm not using that big tote everywhere i go you know what i'm saying like when i check into my hotel that's just for like the travel so it just helps me just throw everything all in one place this has been my bag my go-to purse since i got this i want to say was it two years ago i'm the type of girl that like i'm so happy if i have one thing of quality I don't need anything else until it's broke if it's not broke don't fix it so this is my go-to purse and i just think it's such a fun bag i forget what it's called to be honest and i bought it pre-loved so it's just a great size where you can go out with this bag if you wanted to but you could also just use this for day to day like it fits my vlog camera perfectly my phone and all of my day-to-day -day essentials like hand sanitizer y'all we need this this is a must and i recently discovered the which scent is this it doesn't say on here but i know it's vanilla oh here we go vanilla blossom this is the best scent that they make in this hand sanitizer so i need to put all the girlies on 
I will try to find links to everything in the description and put them there for you guys. I have some mints. I cannot travel without these. So, gotta have those. I prefer mints over gum because you have to find a place to put your gum. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's doing a lot. I have more lotion because I am just always super dry. This is another favorite of mine. It smells so good and it's a very buttery hand cream and it's by way you can only get this online not in store and it's in their Rue street scent so the aesthetic the packaging is everything and it's nice and slim but you get a lot of product so i always have that in my handbag and then i always have whatever fragrance i'm traveling with on my person because i just like to smell and feel really good so recently you guys i came across the kayali burning cherry and I just got it in this travel bottle just to test it out, and I'm obsessed. So, best believe I'll be picking this up in the full size. It smells so good, and it reminds me a lot of the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And it doesn't have such, like, that heavy almond undertone that Lost Cherry does. So, and also, I feel like I'm allergic to almonds, so whatever, like, essential oils and stuff that is in that, I feel like it irritates my skin. So, I was like, let me get this. <laughs> And it smells so good and I've already gotten several compliments on it. It's such a good day and night fragrance so it's perfect for travel but it's also warm and it has that that fruitiness from the cherry like girl just go smell it. You're gonna be obsessed. And then the last few things are my car keys which I don't travel with these because um, usually I have someone take me to the airport and I don't need to have things with me that I have to keep track of and then my wallet super small. So this just has my ID and like my cards. Basic, y'all, I be traveling light. I just can't be bothered to keep track of a bajillion things that I might need. <laughs> That's pretty much it, you guys. All of my carry-on essentials, things that I pack with me when I am taking a flight somewhere. Hopefully this gave you a little inspo on some things that you can throw into your bag for your next trip coming up because spring break is coming up if you guys are planning to go somewhere summer is around the corner so i'm sure a lot of you girls are planning to book some trips somewhere with all of your friends and all that good stuff so i'm like really excited about this video because it definitely took me back to those days when i used to make content like this all of the time and low-key i just re-fell in love with beauty and fashion and all that good stuff like all over again <laughs> it's a new vibe it's a new era of me and i'm living and i'm loving it don't forget to check out bingo wild and download their app and start playing their game today i'm gonna pop it in the description so don't forget to subscribe thumbs up and i will catch you dolls in my next video very soon bye